Hello, movie lovers. Bob for Bob's movie review here. And today I review for you a movie I just watched called Mad God. This one was sent to me for review by RLJE Films. If you do get a chance to check this one out, love your thoughts in the comment section below. I'll be sure to include more information with the links to purchase one down in the description. Now, I could be wrong, but I think they only released this on a Steelbook Blu-ray or a DVD. I don't think there was a standard Blu-ray version to this one. Now, again, I could be wrong. Um, I did post an unboxing of that. Like, check that out. Just search for Mad God on my channel. Now, I can't remember specifically a lot about Phil Tippett. I do remember watching a documentary about him, and he's kind of a special effects master, um, and I believe he was primarily focused on stop animation. And so, you know, stop animation doesn't really exist that much anymore. It's very rare to see anything in stop animation. And I believe this says it's like 30 years in the making, uh, this movie. And I use the term movie very loosely. I'm not sure what the technical definition of a movie is. But um, if you do, if you have seen this, would you call this an anthology or a movie? I, I just... This, this, this movie just really confused me. Um, first of all, it's almost an hour and a half long and there is zero dialogue, no spoken language in the movie. And it, it wore on me pretty fast. And so the movie starts out, well, I guess we'll call it a character. A character is like dropping down from the sky in something. And I'm not trying to be vague is just very hard to describe. And there's these things shooting at it. I guess they never hit it and it keeps dropping and dropping. And I don't know if it eventually gets on the ground or underground or something. And it is looking for something. I, I don't know what. I don't know what. And it keeps just going through scene after scene of random craziness, uh, shock value, disgusting scene after scene of, again, just randomness, like these really weird alien creatures. They're doing these really weird random things, and they get killed a lot. And th there's no narrative. There's no understanding what's happening. It just seems pretty random. Um, stop animation scenes. There is actually some live action mixed in, and that part kind of confuses me because uh, eventually this this character gets caught by something, and then we move to this other scene of like this doctor or something operating on these people. It doesn't really seem to have anything to do with the rest of the movie. But maybe I just didn't get it. And then after that, it was a live action thing with this guy with these really long fingernails. But he had the map that the character from the first part had. <laughs> I don't know. Unfortunately, I was completely lost about everything in this I didn't get it, and I wasn't very entertained by it, um, to say the least. It was very interesting stop-motion animation. Some parts it looked kind of jerky and off, um, but it was very interesting design, and like I think they did a good job with the design of whatever they were using. I don't think it was all the same medium as far as um, how they were making the animation. But beyond that, I just didn't get it, and I was looking up review scores on this. It's actually a very pretty well reviewed movie and I didn't get it. Uh, so I'm just going to give this one a one out of five. I just couldn't imagine really ever watching this again. Hope you did enjoy the video. If you haven't already subscribed for more videos, to the says videos. And I'll see you guys next time. Okay, the video is done. Choose another video. Still here? Subscribe, and visit my social media links.